I think the biggest myth and the biggest misunderstanding about autism is still the one we all are most familiar with, which is the myth that vaccines cause autism. It doesn't. There have been study after study after studies after studies showing that vaccines do not cause autism. And more than that, the person who initially put out the study about the link between vaccines and autism, Andrew Wakefield, had his medical license revoked. And the study in The Lancet that initially postulated the uh, the link was retracted. So with that in mind, I think it's important to remember that vaccines don't cause autism. But more than that, I think it the fear about vaccines and autism is linked to this idea that autism is something to be feared or that autism is caused by a personal failing. Uh, and that goes back to the origins of our understanding about autism uh, and people like Bruno Bettelheim, who argued that autism was caused by, uh, quote unquote, refrigerator parents or unloving parents. Um, that argument is in the trash bin, as it should be. But the fear that autism is something that we're just a shot away from or we're just uh, an, a lack of a hug away from. Uh, still exists. On top of that, I think there is this misperception that autism makes someone unempathetic or it makes them lack empathy or lack theory of mind for other people. And that's just not true. Autistic people are empathetic. They do have a capacity for empathy. They may not understand what people are feeling at the moment or be able to read social cues. But that doesn't mean that once they understand what somebody else is feeling, that they won't immediately empathize and feel someone's pain or care about what they're feeling. On top of that, there is this idea still that autism is something that only affects white males, typically children, so white male adolescent boys. Uh, and that's because a lot of the diagnostic criteria that we used, that, that, that was created for autism, was made with white male children in mind. So as a result, we have a huge problem of people of color getting underdiagnosed, people who, for whom English is their second language getting underdiagnosed or undiagnosed. Uh, plenty of Black and Latino children are often misdiagnosed with behavioral disorders, and then on top of that, a lot of girls are either misdiagnosed, go completely undiagnosed, or uh, get diagnosed much later. So a lot of these ideas that we have about autism, we wind up doing a disservice to actually autistic people and to autistic people themselves when we propagate these myths.